You don't really know much about Halloween. And welcome to another episode of Sinister Snacks. I don't know why I always say it weird when we start. But anyway, I'm Joel. I'm Laura. And um, we're the Newly Deads. We are the Newly Deads. <laughs> yeah, I was about to roll into it. And she's like, nope, nope, stop the car. We're the, the Newly Deads. Thank you for joining um, us. Thank you for joining us. Yes. And just out of frame is Shaggy. So if you see suddenly a Shaggy dog pop up, that's that's him. It's not Bigfoot or anything. Um, so today we are going to be revisiting something that Laura introduced me to um like six months ago a year ago i don't know not that long ago um lesser evil which a good brand i had never heard of them i had never tried them and then she was munching on this popcorn that she had bought at the store and i was like can i try some and she said sure and then i tried some and then i started buying it myself um it's delightful the no cheddar cheddar popcorn that is uh good for people who can't eat cheese um is my favorite or vegan or are vegan, correct? And your favorite is the Himalayan? Yeah, the Himalayan sea salt. Uh, it's kind of cooked uh, in coconut oil or whatever, and it's just it's so delicious. Some of them are, some of them aren't. But we're fans of Lesser Evil. Yes. Um, so if you've never had them before and you see them, get them. But these are kind of um, kind of almost like a summertime flavor, but they're available in stores. like not. I've seen some still. You, know, you can get them at most um, grocery stores. We have a Woodman's here. I don't know where, where you're at, but like uh, Woodman's, I don't know if they're all over the place, but they're, they're around this area. Um, they're definitely in the Midwest. But you can also find them at uh, places like, I think like some of the natural market type places. Yes. Um, you, you can Costco. see these because they are, yeah, they do have them at Costco because they are very friendly for people who have, you know, gluten free or vegan or uh, they, they cover their bases. So we've got three different flavors here to drive. We're going to start with the lemonade, lemonade flavored popcorn. That's why we're doing this. It doesn't Sinister smell Snacks lemonade because... but... Oh, sorry. No, I don't mm -mm. get the lemonade. You want to grab, grab, grab a, a little handful? Yeah. Because we're going to be trying all three. We won't go too hard with this, but... The gotta... serving size is three cups, which is nice. And there's about four, uh, four and a half servings in this bag, and it's 120 calories. Cheers, Cheers before, before you chew. chew. I think they'll probably be about all the same. Very light flavor. This has the Himalayan pink salt as well. Mm -hmm. The popcorn's good. I do kind of taste lemony. It's got like a little bit of a sweetness. Very bright. It's bright. There's the lemon on that one. Like there's an actual salt. That's if, weird. Like If you suck on it, don't just chew it up. For real. Like put it on your tongue and like kind of like smush it, it down. Like, so if we're not talking for a second, it's because we're. You taste the sour. A little bit. It's, it's tasty. I didn't think I was going to like this. Here's the thing. I was just about to say that too. Suck on it. I did. Did you taste it? A little bit. Yeah. Is that when I, the first couple bites I had, I was already ready to go. Mm, I don't like this. But like the more that I'm eating like more of it, the more I'm kind of getting it. And it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I like sweet, salty. That's like my jam. Uh, and it kind of gives me a little bit of that vibe. Yeah, almost like a kettle corn kind of. Yeah, for whatever reason, that I, I like that. Yeah, I like so, it too. This is one I think Laura's going to like. It's pina colada. Mm, don't mean to open it. Oh, I was going to, but no, you, you, keep, you keep talking. Um, she is a, a, a coconut, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I um, am not a fan of coconut. I, it, it's fine for people, but I don't like it. Never liked it. Um, just some, I've, and I've had fresh coconut. I've had coconut flavored. I'm obsessed. Coconut, everything. I love the scent of coconut. I like the taste of coconut. My favorite Girl Scout cookies are the, you know, the, um, no, I can't remember what they're called. The, the coconut. I was going to say one. Tagalogs, but that's not right. No, they're the. Um, the coconutties. Yeah, the coconut ones. 
Oh, oh. cheers to Cory too. Again. Ooh, I taste pineapple. Wait, what is it? Is it more than just coconut? It's it's oh, it's pina colada. Pina right. Sorry. Pineapple. Oh, I smelled that when I tasted it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that sounds weird, but it's you know almost what I mean. yeah. It's what that's what you get. Like you kind oh, of there's the coconut and coconut. It tastes like pina colada. It does have a pina colada. And I've not. I've had a. It's light, not super salty. Oh, kind of tastes like. You don't like it. Suntan lotion. That's what a lot of people think with coconuts. Well, because that's what you, you you're like. Honey, get me the banana boat. I don't want to burn today, and that's <laughs> kind of what I'm getting. It is 100 percent pina colada. Mm -hmm. There is no doubt in pineapple my mind. coconut. That is a pina colada. Yeah. No, I don't. I, there's going to be people out there that absolutely love this, and I think she might be one of them. I mean, I like pineapple, and I like coconut, and I like them together, but um, I, I, I like coconut more than I like pineapple, and so if I'm going to eat something coconut, I want to really taste coconut, and to me, that tastes more like pineapple. And I, I like, I, I, let me rephrase that, I love pineapple. It is good, though. Don't like coconut, so it's a very mixed bag, and I've never liked the pina colada flavor. And it kind of lingers. Yeah, that's why I took a drink of water. So the final one is watermelon <clears throat> hibiscus. Now, we all know what watermelon tastes like. What does hibiscus taste like? Does it have a, it's a flowery thing, right? Like rose water kind of thing? Lush hibiscus. I mean, I know it's a plant, like it's a flower. I, I should have been reading the back here. So I was a satisfied oh. midday wanderlust with a moment of tropical zen. Wonder Juicy watermelon, lush hibiscus, and coconut oil give this limited edition snack permanent vacation vibes. Switch to Do Not Disturb and savor this sweet retreat. Those emails can wait. Oh my. Things got very, very seductive. <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying to be seductive. Really I was giving you the sexy voice. I can't really smell that. That's um, right. I'm, I've stopped smelling. We like sniffing things. Smell, but, yeah. And I think all the, the calories in there are the same across the board. I don't want to get a huge hand in case I don't like it. All right, I, I, I'm, I, full disclosure, like I said, I don't know what hibiscus is supposed to taste like, so for there, I'm going to be, cheers for you, two, part three, um, a little short, but I, watermelon I'm very familiar with, so. All right, a little, little confused here. Hmm. Indeed. It tastes like popcorn. Oh. You taste the... I got a little bit of a hereditary thing happening there. <laughs> no, I had a, a little bit of um, flowery. It almost tastes like a scratch and sniff sticker. <laughs> Not that I've eaten those, but... It tastes like what, what a I mean. scratch and sniff sticker smells like. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. A little worried my mic is tucked in there. These I'm confused by. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. I don't taste watermelon. No. It tastes sweet. And if you talk to my kids, they'll tell you that watermelon doesn't taste like anything. Mm -hmm. And they're wrong. They are wrong. I love my kids, but they're wrong. Um, watermelon is delightful. Now see there, as I'm sitting with the flavor in my mouth after I've finished eating it, I'm kind of getting just a, the smallest hint. And I get the salt. Like I got the salt. I get the flour, but I the watermelon is really, really subtle. Yeah. Um this one, horrible. It's yeah. Sweet. Yeah. A little sweet, a little salty. Not overly sweet or or overly salty in either way. I'm not really a fan of the, the flowery thing, but mm. I mean I might eat more of it if if there was nothing else to snack on. So now right. that I'm smelling it, I can smell the hibiscus in it. You know, like now that I've like let it air out a little bit, you're getting that smell, and I've tasted it. Yeah, yeah, I it's should, almost like a chocolatey. I should eat some more. Sort of smell. Yeah, I know. Right. I'm just sitting over here like so, chowing down. All right, so let's let's go down the line here. We'll do we'll do this one first because we've got it here. Okay. So for the uh, watermelon hibiscus, I'm gonna give it a ten. Four. Um. Three. Again, the product itself, lesser evil. Fantastic brand. Highly recommend all of their products. Agreed. This particular flavor, not for me. So the pina colada, 
out of 10? I have to try it one more time. Well, I'll tell you right now, it is a one. I don't, and again. I'm going to give it a four. It is nothing against um, the, the brand itself. It is just the flavor is, it's just a personal thing. No, I like it. Maybe I'll give it a... I'm still tasting that one. I'm going to give it a five. Now you're going to make me change what I did. You're going to be like zero? <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, I mean, I have to go back and... Oh, I'm it. sorry. No, no, it's, it's, I'm kidding. It's fine. I just, five. I, I give her crap sometimes. What five. Five. Right, and finally, the uh, lemonade. lemonade. Is it just lemonade? Yep. Okay, just the lemonade flavor as she continues to try them out of uh, 10. Where are we sitting? Five. That one, I'm, I'm actually going to say seven. Whoa. Yeah. I, like, I would I eat. Won't. Yeah. I would eat more of it. You can oh, you have it. Try it again? No, you can have it. Oh. <laughs> That'll be his bag. But yeah, that can be yours. I'll, I'll eat the coconut one. There's something about the, the the tang with the sweet and the salt just kind of all makes this like pleasant little 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 bite. Well, if they want to find us, where can they find us, Joel? You can find us at thenewlydeads.com, our brand new revamped website. We put in a lot of work in there, mostly there, a little bit here. Um, but you can find all things newly dead top to bottom. It also will download on your phone as an app. So if you don't want to go to the actual physical site, you can have it as an app on your phone with a cute little icon with our uh, logo. logo. When you click on it, our logo pops up and then the screen goes orange and it's, it's, it's a whole experience. Um, but yeah, go check that out. There'll be a schedule of all of the things, uh, or I don't know if we're putting a schedule. I'd like to put a schedule on there about when everything releases, but you're going to find content from us almost every day of the week. So if you like this and you want more, there is plenty of it out there. Yep. So Awesome. Well, uh, like always, thank you very much for watching. We'll start. Stop. <laughs> we're starting to do a new thing. We got thing. a new thing and we're trying to get it into our lexicon. I'm say, and we'll stop yakking. And let's get back to snacking. Thank you. <laughs> we'll get Halloween, the festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.